chairman. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Point of order. What is the point of order? I think, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, the uh, good uh, gentleman, uh, is not under investigation in this committee, and we are investigating other matter. If you wanted to be uh, investigated Mr. Chair, the I, 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 I still have the point of order. I still have the point of order. What is the point of order? Of course, one more question. This is better. Mr. Chair, one minute. Where do you want to be? Sang nagsa salita. The chair would like to recognize the presence of the Honorable Vice President, Sara Duterte. Please continue. Okay, uh, Mr. Chair. So, nakita natin no, yung melodrama, melodramatic na nangyari noong, ano, no, noong weekend. At nakita natin yung kwento ng ating mga, yung Miset Jen, SAA, tungkol doon sa, Mr. Chair, parang merong problema sa sa um, audio, Mr. Chair. At nakita natin, Mr. Chair, na talagang, ano no, paliwas sa mga nap napanood natin sa, sa social media, uh, doon sa mga reports, yung totoong nangyari. Hello. Okay. So, met met. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As I've said, no, doon sa mga kwento na napanood natin sa statement ni uh, Bibi Sara at saka sa statement ng COS, ng OVP. So, na-realize natin dito, paliwas doon sa kwento nila, yung tunay na pangyayari. Of course, um, pinatunayan nga na no, nung interpellation ni Representative Suan Singh at saka ni Congressman Kong Hoon. So, Mr. Chair, um, in our last session, so, Just to review, the committee passed my motion to hold Attorney Lopez in contempt under Section 11F of the Rules of Inquiries in Aid of Legislation for undue interference in our proceedings and resolved to detain her for a period of five days instead of ten days or maximum of ten days as provided for in our Section 12 of the same rule. I must stress also, Mr. Chair, that the totality, just you have said a while ago, the totality of Attorney Lopez's acts and conduct warranted a detention of more than five days. Considering the totality of her acts of undue interference to the proceedings of this committee and, co and the Congress as a whole, as a whole, she not only admitted writing to the COA in order to suppress or prevent the release of documents, but worse, Mr. Chair, she continued to assert her position during our hearing, as well as in prior corresp correspondences that she sent to his committee in refusing to attend our prior, uh, our prior hearings. But by virtue of her conduct, the committee was deprived of invaluable information necessary to allow it to perform its role of crafting legislation for the improvement of the country's system of governance and transparency, Mr. Chair. In fact, she only attended when a threat of contempt citation loomed large should, uh, should she fail to comply again with the subpena. Duces, take home, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair, um, in view of the uh, uh, what happened during the last two days or so, I would like to consider to move for a reconsideration of our resolution in so far as it's limited the period of detention for only five days. 
I move, Mr. Chair, that the period of detention of Attorney Lopez be 10 days instead of 5 days. So move, Mr. Chair. Uh, 10 days, uh, so additional 5 days, tama po ba? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, kasi hindi na siya makaka-attend ngayon, ano? Ka talagang ano, no? So nakita naman natin sa history nung kanyang evas evasive attitude, behavior, at itong kinreate niya na sinasabi niya na nagpagsisinungaling niya na hindi naman siya hinaras o hindi naman siya uh, na-barge na yung kanyang, yung, yung room, ay kasama na po yan. So, yung lahat ng mga pangyayari, Mr. Chair. So, I, 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 I repeat, I move to, uh, to, uh, to extend the period of contempt of Attorney Sulaika Lopez, Mr. Chair. Is there a second to the motion? Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Congressman Margoleta. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Before an action may be taken by the committee, may I know how the totality of evidence uh, was evaluated that merited the uh, contempt order by the chair. Congresswoman Castro. Mr. Chair, I'd like to. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, may I like answer? I'd the uh, yes, scores of Mr. Chair. So. That indicates. Uh, so, Mr. Chair. This is from this point Mr. of Chair. information, Mr. Okay. Chair. This yes. is something that has to do with Congress, the rights Congressman Margolita. people. In the court, Congressman Margolita, let us, uh, the Chair recognizes Congressman. So, may I ask Mr. Chair, proceed, um, Mr. Chair, may I ask the action of the committee first on my motion, Mr. Chair, before we enter We will uh, rule on okay. the motion first. Okay. Uh, is there is any second to the motion? Mr. Chair, may I be recognized? Please? Julie seconded. Uh, is there any objection? Mr. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair I, 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 I was recognized Mr. Chair. earlier before any action may be taken by the court, uh, by, the, by the chair. Why is it that I am not allowed to speak? Uh, Congressman Margolenda, there is a pending motion. We just acted as yes, a pending motion Yes, but before that motion can be taken up because this, this is about uh, the liberty of an individual. May I, be, may I be heard? Yes, you will be heard, Congressman Margolenda, but uh, we just acted on the motion. Now, Congresswoman Castro, please, could you please answer the query of Congressman Margolenda? I have not yet asked the question, Mr. Chair. Okay, I am trying continue. to explain my point. Please continue, Congressman Margolita. Because in the totality of evidence, as stated by Honorable Castro, there is an existing case, Mr. Chair. Ong versus Senate, GR number 257401, which says that the court ruled that the determination of whether a testimony was false or evasive requires an assessment of the totality of evidence presented to determine whether a witness speaks truthfully or merely trying to evade answering the question directly. So I am asking, Mr. Chair, how was the totality of evidence assessed, if ever it was assessed? Ano po yung pinagbatayan? I, I think we deserve to know how the assessment was made. This concerns the liberty of an individual under the Constitution. No one should be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. I think Attorney Lopez deserves to be heard. Ano po yung assessment na ginawa ng chair o ng committee? Kasi po, nais, ang, na, ang nabasa ko lang, o nakita ko, Mr. Chair, sa, Attorney Lopez wrote the COA explaining the position of the OVP that the audit observation memo is not conclusive, which means, Mr. Chair, Attorney Lopez is merely explaining the nature of an audit observation memo. If I were the lawyer of uh, the OVP, I would have done the same. Because 
I think the very nature of the AOM, it is not final and executory. Why would why would the COA abdicate its mandate of auditing the transaction or the funds utilization of the OBP? Why would the committee, Mr. Chair, arrogate, arrogate upon itself the very mandate and responsibility of the Commission on Audit? Article 9D, Section 2, Paragraph 1 of the 1987 Constitution, Mr. Chair, I will read. The Commission on Audit shall have the power, authority, and the duty to examine audit and settle all accounts pertaining to the revenue and receipts of expenditures or uses of funds and property. Mr. Chair, this constitutional provision jives with Section 25, Paragraph 2 of Presidential Decree 1445 or the State Audit Code of the Philippines, which says to develop and implement a comprehensive audit program that shall encompass an examination of financial transactions, accounts, and reports, including evaluation of compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Meaning to say, Mr. Chair, the mandate and authority to audit accounts on the expenses or expenditures of government is only the COA. I believe it is my respectful submission, Mr. Chair, that this committee usurp that particular mandate and that will now put the Commission on Audit positions in a compromise, Mr. Chair. How will you now, how will you now assess the authority, the integrity and the, and the mandate? It is an independent constitutional body which mandate rests upon them. And I think the audit observation memo, Mr. Chair, is still under process by the committee, by the Commission on Audit. Why would we take that responsibility from the Commission on Audit? Why don't we allow the process to proceed and complete that investigation? I am raising a constitutional issue before this committee, Mr. Chair. We cannot arrogate upon ourselves the principal mandate repose to the COA. It is the Constitution itself which gave them that responsibility, that authority and mandate. Where, where in Article 7 of the Philippine Constitution, which is the grant of legislative power, can this committee arrogate upon itself that particular mandate? I would like that question to be answered, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Marcoleta. The Chair would like to recognize the Honorable Congressman Patuan. Patuan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, just to clear it out with regards to the, the jurisprudence that's cited by the Honorable Marcoleta with regards to all versus any. That is true. Now that the, the resolution of the Supreme Court favors Lincoln but but that is a question of due process because Lincoln was that time was cited in contempt. Now question of question the case of uh, Mr. Chair, I directed the question oh, to you. I am not yet finished my manifestation or answer the query of the Honorable Marco Pleta, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Honorable. Congressman Marcoleta will be recognized. Mr. Chairman, I have heard the question was addressed to... Congressman uh, Marcoleta, let me first recognize Congressman Paduano. Before you answer, before you recognize him, I deserve... You are out of order. I deserve, Mr. Chair, an answer. One minute suspension declared by Chair. Your Honor, I would like to recognize Honorable Joseph Jojo Lara from the 3rd District of Lagayan, Honorable Roberto T. Uy Jr., Vice Chairperson from the 1st District of Zamboanga del Norte, Honorable Loreto Esamante from the 3rd District of Laguna, 
Honorable Raul Daniel A. Manuel from Kabataan Party List, Deputy Majority Leader Jude A. Asidre from Tingog Party List, Deputy Majority Leader Franz S. Pumarin from the 3rd District of Quezon City, Honorable Daphne A. Lagon from the 6th District of Cebu, Honorable Rhea May A. Gullias from the 1st District of Cebu, Honorable Jaime D. Cuanco from the 1st District of Tarlac. That's it, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Comsec. Um, to, um, before Chair? I recognize Congresswoman Franz Castro. Yeah, so before anything else, Mr. Chair, yes. uh, before you ask, uh, you answer the question of Honorable Marcoleta, May I ask, may I be uh, cleared out po in sa aking motion? So my motion is on the table. So may I know the decision of the chair? Tapos na po. Na-declare na, na so, pag-up na po. Chair. Okay, so wala na po tayong ano dito. Wala na okay. There is no pending motion. Okay, thank you Mr. Chair. Yes, to answer the question of the Honorable Marcoleta with respect to the totality of acts of uh, Attorney Lopez, uh, the chair already uh, explained it clearly in my opening uh, remarks and I will repeat uh, Congressman uh, Marcoleta while Attorney Lopez presented herself as respectful or courteous nakita po ng committee na ang kanyang mga sagot at mga pagkilos mula sa magumpisa ng inquiry na ito ay evasive uncooperative and untruthful the sumat ang suma total at kabuhan ng kanyang mga acts and responses ultimately convinced the committee that Attorney Lopez was guilty of interfering in and frustrating Congress exercise of its power of legislative inquiry. Halimbawa, isolated incident lang daw ang kanyang pagtanggal kay Yusik Gloria Mercado sa Depet, subalit na paamin rin siya padlaunan na may mga iba pa siyang mga tinatanggal na opisyal sa Depet kahit na hindi siya opisyal na ito. Paulit-ulit din pong sinabi ni Atty. Lopez na wala siyang alam sa utilization ng confi fund ng OPP. Paulit-ulit ito na sagot, subalit may mga dokumento at ebidensya kagaya na lamang ng mga sulat sa COA at testimonya mismo ng iba pa nitong resource persons na nagtuturo kay Atty. Lopez bilang involved hindi lang sa pag-request ng confi fund kung di pati na rin sa utilization at liquidation nito. Inamin ni Atty. Lopez na sila ng kanyang assistant COS na si Limuel Ortonio ang nakalag nakalagda sa sulat sa COA patungo sa liquidation ng confidential funds. Inamin niya rin na nag-issue siya ng isang pang sulat na tinatanggap pigilan ng ANCOA sa pag-comply sa isang sampina mula sa kongresong ito. Ilang beses rin po nakatanggap ang komite ng mga iba pang sulat mula kay Atty. Lopez na tumatangging humarap sa komite on the basis of the same grounds na kanyang inilahat sa sulat ng OWA. Kung titignan po ang totality of Atty. Lopez Acts, malinaw na mayroong clear, persistent, and willful attempt to interfere, frustrate, and defeat the inquiry undertaken by the committee at dahil dito ay nahatulan siya ng contempt under Section 11F of our Rules of Procedure Governing Inquiries in Aid of Legislation. During the course of the hearing, Atty. Lopez was uh, asked, tinanong po siya, kung uh, sila po ay nagsampa ng uh, kaso dito po sa Supreme Court, dito po sa request ng uh, uh, Kamara na para humingi po ng mga dokumento at sinabi po niya ay hindi. Ang uh, act po ng Congress, uh, ito po yung na-desisyon na na nung nakaraang uh, committee hearing at ang kumero man pong question sa constitutionality na ginagawa po ng Kamara at anytime po pwede po tayong mag-question sa Supreme Court via petition for certiorari. Maraming salamat po, Congressman Margulita. Mr. Chair, yun nga po yung tinatanong ko sa inyo kanina kung paano kinanap yung assessment ng totality of evidence. Sabagkat kung napansin po ninyo, isinama po yung di umano ay pagtatanggal ng ibang kawani ng uh, DepEd na po, wala yatang ang pagkakatingin ko po sa mga minutes ay wala pong due process na pinagtatanggal po sila. Isa po yun yata sa ebidensya na ipinasok ninyo sa totality. Tama po ba? 
Isa lamang po yun sa mga oh, nagkusapan po. Gusto ko lamang po ang puntuhan yun sapagkat ako po, ako po bilang isa, tinanggal po ako sa lahat ng aking committee, hindi ko man lang po alam kung ano yung kasalanan ko. I was not even informed. The first element of due process is notice. I was not notified. What did I do wrong? Wala po. Pero pinagtatanggal po ako, eh tinanggap ko naman eh. Pero wala po due process. Yung po ang gusto kong ipaintindi rin. Pati nga po yung membership ko sa commission and appointments na wala namang kinalaman dito sa gawain natin sa kongreso, tinanggal din po ako rin. Meron po ba due process? Tingnan po ninyo yung ginawa niyang sulat. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, point of order. What is the point of order? I think, uh, Mr. Chairman, the uh, good uh, gentleman, uh, is not under investigation in this committee, and we are investigating other matters. If you wanted to be uh, investigated Mr. Chair, Mr. I think I Mr. Chairman, I still have the point of order, Mr. Chairman. I still have the point of order, Mr. Chairman. What is the point of order? Congressman Marco, I have to suspect the recognition. One minute, Mr. Chairman. Pwede mo mong pigil ng isang nagsasalita? Mr. Chair, while you are suspended, may we respectfully request that all the employees of the Office of the Vice President sit together so that we can easily confer with each other because the other employees are um, quite few seats away from us. So we want to sit together so that we can confer easily with each other. Please, thank you. Mr. Chair, may I continue, Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair, the point of Congressman uh, Akop is recognized. With the indulgence of the Honorable Marcoleta, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I think we, be, we might as well agree to disagree with one another here. Bago po tayo magpatuloy. Di po ba? Yes, I agree, Congressman Akop. So, we follow our rules. Uh, the Honorable Marcolette is a member of this Congress, so he knows the rules and he is obligated to follow the rules. Otherwise, he'll be declared out of order and be taken out of this room. So, for all of us, members of Congress, let's follow the House rules. That's why they are there for orderly proceedings. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Ahok.